Peace be upon you. Salaamun Alaikum. In the name of God, the compassion of the merciful, I am very delighted to be back to Scotland. It's always a pleasure to come to Scotland, whether it be in summer or winter. The topic of identity and belonging, I think, is one of the utmost important topics for every human being, especially in this age. Because we live a time that we are very rapidly changing before we manage to get used to a new thing already the next stage has started and it's very very difficult even for the people who are established who have been living in their own homeland for centuries to cope with the changes now you can imagine if we have people who migrate, who start life in another part of the world, how these rapid changes can affect their way of understanding of themselves and others. So with these changes and with the demography that we have today, that almost in every part of the world, Either you are already living with people from other backgrounds or on internet, on TV, you would come across people from other cultures, other traditions. So it's very, very important for us today to understand who we are. What are we supposed to do? with respect to ourselves, our family, our community, our society, and international humanity. A few months ago, in Italy, I was speaking with some pedagogists, and I thought maybe this example helps to better understand the significance of everyone's sense of identity because now we all use computers. So, as you know, for computer, hardware is very important. The processor, the RAM, the monitor, everything is very important. But if executive or operative system, software, is not working, even you have the best hardware, this computer is not going to function. Our sense of identity is like that executive or operative software. If, for example, it's Windows or I don't know, it's Apple, whatever. If that main software is not there, you cannot use the hardware and you cannot install secondary softwares like word processor or whatever. So for us, that understanding that we should have about ourselves and our relation with other people is the main software that we should have. You can have a body which is very fit, very strong, but if you are confused about your identity, you cannot function properly, and sometimes you can even start harming yourself or other people or you may, you know, develop depression or, I don't know, radicalism or whatever, because you are not clear about who you are and what you are supposed to do. So, what should be our understanding of identity? I think this is an area that people may have some differences. But in my understanding, certainly the tradition that you belong to, it can be religious, it can be spiritual, it can be national, it can be mixture of all. But a human being as an individual without belonging to a tradition, to a community, 
to a family is like a tree without roots. It's not just enough we create a unified humanity that like robots, they all do the same thing and they have no belonging to their own traditions. In our secular education, we should not disconnect people from their family belonging, community belonging, spiritual belonging, religious belonging. Actually, these are all the connections that, like pillars, can make a secular society more viable and stronger instead of a secular society trying to get rid of these belongings. So, what should we do in a society which is very diverse and very uh, divided when it comes to the backgrounds? Here, there are two responses. Some people think, if you want to have your own identity very clear, you have to, at least in your mind, separate yourself from other people. If you cannot physically separate yourself, you cannot live in a neighborhood that other people don't exist, or you, know, you cannot go to a school or university or workplace that others are not there, at least in your mind, in your identity, keep everyone separate except the people who belong to exactly the same background, the same tradition, the same understanding that you have. This kind of understanding of identity is very easy to implement, doesn't need lots of education, because you can easily say, you are what others are not. You are different from them. For example, if two groups of Muslims or two groups of Christians or Muslims and Christians live in a city or a village, they can say, just keep away from them. Try not to be similar to them. In this way, you are safe. Instead of telling them, what makes you a good Muslim or a good Christian? What morals you should have? What contribution you should have? It's just easy to say, try to keep separate from them, at least in your mind and your identity. But this is not going to work, and I don't think this is faithful to our own traditions which are coming from the same God, God of all human beings. I think the best way would be to teach ourselves and the next generation that how can you, with a strong sense of identity, relate to others? How you can see values in people who are different from you? And how you can fulfill your responsibility towards them? So instead of making everyone the same, we keep the diversity because this diversity gives us more reason to be what we are, gives us more strengths, but we use it at the service of humanity. And I think this is the beautiful mosaic that God has wanted for us to have. We can be all proud of our own traditions, our own nationality, ethnicity, our own homeland, our own country, but not in disconnection or separation or isolation from each other, let alone thinking that I can harm them because they don't belong to me. We should use all these belongings that we have in our identity as extra reason to relate to other people and identify each other. I admire what we see in Scotland as a good model, although still, I think, much more work has to be done, 
but it's a good model of this type of relation that we have diverse traditions, but all understanding that they can be stronger if they are united and they work together. And of course, if we can make the center of this relation God of all of us, then we can get better results. Thank you very much.